Jimmy and Michael here at CES 2018. We're at Razer Suite, and Razer always shows off a bunch of weird cookie concepts at CES, and this year is no different. Michael, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Right here is Project Linda, which acts as a dock for the Razer phone. It does a couple of different things. It mirrors exactly what's happening on your Razer phone, and it also has some internals as well. All the power is driven from the Razer phone, so there aren't any processors or GPUs in Project Linda itself, but it does have internal storage up to 250 gigabytes, and it's a 1080p display, 60 hertz. Now I know the Razer phone itself is a 1440p, uh, display with up to 100, 120, up to 120 hertz. hertz. Um, they are working on that. They're trying to get that to work. Uh, but the, like I said, there aren't any um, power internals inside of the Project Linda itself, but it does have internal storage and it has a keyboard, obviously, as you can see. It also has USB ports, so you can plug in mice into Project Linda itself and the phone will recognize that so you can use uh, an external mouse because the phone also acts as the trackpad. It doesn't feel the best based off of our testing of Project Linda Yeah, itself. I think it offers a little bit more resistance than what you're used to. It's not, as, it's not quite as smooth. Yeah, so it's like flipping through your phone. It's not ideal for actual like computing. There's a couple of smart designs to it too. Um, like you can use the fingerprint reader, uh, the fingerprint unlock here. There's an open space for you to like put your thumb there. And you know, thankfully the, the phone has like awesome speakers. So the, Basically, this device just leverages that. And it kind of comes together in like a nice sort of package. And this is like the first time that I've really seen a major uh, Android laptop. I think mm -hmm. most laptops from like, that use Google OS use like Chrome or something like that. Yeah. So this is kind of interesting. You know, whether or not it actually comes out, you know, like time will tell. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, what are your impressions of it so far? I think it's a neat idea. Uh, out of all of the crazy things that we see out of Razer uh, throughout the years of CES, I think this is one of the more practical things that I've seen. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, again, who knows if this will come out. There's no like release date or anything. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, from a practicality standpoint, I mean, this is something that has an internal battery. It can, when, when you dock your phone into it, it actually charges it. It can charge it three times over. The OS is like, Android OS is actually pretty smooth with like moving things over, opening apps, and like navigating the OS itself. It's, uh, it feels like it's, oh, this is an actual laptop that works. You know, to see it and test it out and mess around with the limited set of features it has now, this is like something that can actually be used. It's not like this unwieldy thing that we've seen in years past. Right, yeah, Razer's like added a extra skin that kind of makes it look a little bit like Windows a little bit. And I can see this device being used to like bolster productivity, but it can also use, you know, be used to bolster like Android games as well. Mm -hmm. Whether or not like Android games really pick up, uh, you know, major steam uh, in this type of form factor is, you know, remains to be seen. But I would agree with you and say that this is probably like the most um, tangible concept from Razer, in a, you know, at CES in a long while. For more CES coverage, head on over to GameSpot.com. Thanks for watching.